We'd like to introduce you to a system called the Lightness System because we think it's a really good way to help your children learn all the facts they need to to master their new topic this half term. I'd like to show you how it works with a topic that we've just done in year four. So this was our knowledge organiser in year four, the Benin Kingdom. And we had the timeline and the vocabulary to learn and then some maps as, as well. And it's quite a lot. So the first thing to do is to, is to break it down. And we're just going to learn the vocabulary. I made myself these flashcards which match up with the vocabulary. So the first one is animism, which is my first term. And then I just copy down what the definition of animism is. The, uh, the belief that non-human objects have spirits or souls. And I, and I try and learn all of these. What I need to do every day is quiz myself on them. And I quiz myself using this system, the Leitner system. Imagine it's Monday. I'm going to read animism and see if I can say the definition. Animism is the belief that non-human animals have spirits or souls. Give it a quick check. Yes, I've got that one correct. So I can move it into the Tuesday and Thursday box. Colonisation is my next term. Can I remember what colonisation is? I can't remember what it is. Let me check. When invaders take over a country by force and live among the people, of course. I got it wrong. So I'm going to put it in the everyday box, which means that I will practice it more regularly. Cowrie shells. I know what cowrie shells are. They're those little shells that European traders used as currency. I'll just check I'm right. A seashell, which Europeans use as a kind of money to trade with African leaders. That can go in the Tuesday and Thursday. I got that one right. And I'll keep doing that until all of my cards are in the different boxes. And I get, that's Monday. On Tuesday, I need to quiz myself on the cards that I got wrong, which say every day. And I also need to quiz myself on the Tuesday and Thursday box because it's Tuesday. So I'll take out the everyday cards. And this way I'm starting with the terms that I'm weakest on and getting more practice on the terms that I'm weakest on. Colonisation, I remember now. Colonisation was when invaders went into a country, took over but lived amongst the population. When invaders take over a country by force and live among the people. Yeah, that can go into the Tuesday box. We always just move one to the right. That goes into the Tuesday box. Now I've got it correct. Civil war. I still can't remember what a civil war was. A war between people that live within the same country. I got it wrong, so it will go back into the everyday box. I know what a moat is, and I know what an over is. I've tested myself on those. Now, because it's Tuesday, I also need to do the Tuesday and Thursday box. So I'll take out these. But if I get them right again on Tuesday, I can put them in the Friday box. They can move one more across. And over, I know what an over is, that's easy. And over is, was the king of, of the Benin kingdom from, from about 1100 to about 1897. A king or a chief. That can go into the Friday box. I've got that right twice now. I'm only going to quiz myself on Friday about the over. If I get one wrong though, it goes all the way back to every day so that I can quiz myself more regularly. If you do that for a week, then we're pretty confident that your child will have a really good understanding and memory and be able to retrieve and remember all of these key terms. And that's going to really help them with the understanding of their topic. And it's going to help them with the writing and it's going to help them to talk enthusiastically about it and build more knowledge on top of what they've already got. Make their brains a bit stickier for even more facts about it so that they become real experts in their topics and 
we'll look forward to helping them to do that.